All right, this is a uh, kind of quick tutorial for um, a new mayor and that. Just kind of wanted to go over some of the stuff so I can make some comments and that for uh, a person who should be, hopefully will, you know, take my place at least for a little bit, if not longer. So here, um, if you're a mayor, well, first off, you'll get told by an email and, that, and that's, you know, that's fine. You have to pay 50 bucks to... Well, I'll show you that part here in a little bit, but first, we're going to assume you're already mayor. So you go here into the town hall. Now, this first tab here, what you really, really, you really want to care about, um, or what you're going to look at a lot, is the town information. You want to check because, well, not only do you want to see if there's anybody uh, kind of um, not very good in town, but um, so you don't really have to check this daily. You need to go at least once or twice through this and uh, figure out, you know, who's your blacksmiths, who are your whatever. So when you have people in your towns like saying, hey, I need buckets, then you're going to have to see, either get a bucket from another town or another place or see if you can get a blacksmith and a carpenter to work with each other. Um, I have a spreadsheet. I will give my successor, you know, access to that. So it'll make life a little bit easier. I haven't updated lately. If I find the time, I'll update it. Um, if you want to be mayor, about right here, there will be, when there's a time, there'll be a button you can click, and you'll have to pay 50 pounds, and um, it registers your candidacy. Uh, here, the job offers, you've probably already been through here, but you probably haven't clicked on is this button here, which lets you kind of get an idea who hired what. Um, you know, most of the time it's not really, it doesn't mean anything, but, you know, occasionally you want to do this. Now, over here, you see you have a mentor office button. Um, you have that even if you have someone else's mentor. Um, this doesn't let you send the mentor's letter. It lets you see it, lets you see this, it lets you see who are the new people and what they need to do, um, you know, and kind of see what's going on there. Um, I go ahead, just me personally, I because you will get, when a new person comes, it will show up as an event on your main thing. I have, I go ahead and personally send out a uh, mayor's letter, you know, just a thing, hey, welcome to Penrith, and stuff like that. If you have any issues, contact me. Uh, only because you never know if you're, uh, if you have, if your mentor is, you know, maybe, you know, feeling under weather, not keeping up or stuff, at least you know at least somebody has contacted them. Of course, some mentors are really good. Others, eh, you know, life happens. Now, um, going down, oh, let me go back over here. Uh, this letter right here that you see here, you edit that by going over here. And then you go write the information letter, a message, and save it, and that's where you edit that one message. Now, um, let's say you want to add ramparts or something like that. Um, if you don't have a really good 3D uh, thing, you might want to go ahead and make sure your activity assistant, I mean your planning assistant has good access to the 3D thing. Um, they would just get this button here, develop the city. Well, the same way here, you both can do sort of the same thing. Um, you can do roads and stuff, and I do have a kind of a cheat sheet what all this stuff takes care of. Um, but you click here. Uh, one thing is if you add a rampart, you have to come back in here, and this is what only a mayor can do. You need to click here, and there'll be something here that says there's a site. There'll be something right there. They'll say the site. You'll click there, and that's how you put up the jobs for actually building uh, a rampart. Um, I believe in the port town that's handled by, if it's doing a port, it's handled by the harbor master. Now, of course, you need to put assistance. Planning assistant, this is where you would put their name or an activities assistant. The activity assistant handles archery competitions and whatever else they happen to, you know, want to do. Um, as far as the game's concerned, it's just archery. I do a lot of other stuff. Uh, if you want to change the mentor, it's right here. Um... So, it's in a separate place. Don't ask me why. Now, okay, we handle this. There's the auto-buy prices. Um, 
The only thing we have set that we have control of is the meat prices. I've been half tempted to deactivate that. It's up to whoever you want. Um, the one thing that is an auto buy that you have no control over is wool. Wool is set up as an auto buy at 12 pounds per ball. And there's no way to deactivate it. Really kind of an annoying bug in the system. Now, if you need to buy for the town, let's say you need to buy um, corn or bread or something, you have to click here first, and it gives you all this kind of warning here, and you hit change, and suddenly you're buying for the town. If you go over here and go into the market, you will see that uh, it will show you down here what balance you have and that you are buying for the town. It makes it kind of clear there. And then you just need to go like click and something like that and uh, you buy for the town. Now to buy back for yourself, you have to come back over here, uh, get back over here, and now instead of buy for the town, it says buy for yourself. You click on this, you're back, and there we go. We're buying, you know, we're buying for ourselves again. You need to see what goods are in town. Uh, here is what we kind of show here, what currently have at the moment. Um, if you click on here, this means it's going to the tavern when you're transferring it. Click on here, it's going to a grant. Um, I will do a separate video for a grant, but I'm just giving you an overview right now. Um, this shows you what you may have out that's, you know, you're selling, the town's selling. You can cancel, you can whatever, I, there's no county fair, I don't have no idea what that's about. So, but the town market works. I think the county fair is something they were planning to do and they never put in or they did and didn't work and they got rid of it. Not certain. Um, the next thing we have down on the list is manage the militia. The highest amount of militia post an, a uh, mayor can add is four. That's all we can do. We can change their pay, we can change, uh, you know, you know, if we just want, like, okay, you know, for a couple days we want full things, we can change and make it come back. Um, the only armies that we consider, you know, safe within our walls are the Kingdom of England. Um, I wouldn't uh, authorize any other armies. Uh, okay, then there's the taxes. Uh, a lot of us mayors don't like messing with taxes. It's up to you. Uh, these are what the current taxes are levied at. Um, there's information inside if you need to, you know, do that. But, I mean, it, you need five finance stage points to levy a tax. So it's, eh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's, I don't think it brings in enough, personally. Considering to get the taxes up, you have to pay, you know, somebody 20 pounds per month to, or two to have enough points. I'll show you the point system here in a moment. Um, now, if the person tax, you can, like, cancel somebody's debt. And it will list people who haven't paid their taxes yet. And obviously, because I decided I didn't want to do this, I went ahead and found either got people to pay, finish paying their taxes or I uh, found a legal reason to uh, get them off the sheet. Now, um, I'm going to jump down over here because it showed the finance points and stuff like that. That, this is what they're talking here. Um, you can only, you can't, these points don't accumulate, so you kind of have to wait for them to go down, and uh, and then you have to have someone who is educated in a state way who can officially <coughs> earn points for you. Um, most towns, all you have to deal is the communication points, because you need one point for each mayor message, which you can only send out uh, once a week, and then you need the training points. I have yet had to add a training point. Um, I may have to, though, before the end of this, uh, I don't know. I, I, I think I can get out of this uh, current term without having to do it. But I might do it just to make sure yeah, you have enough here, who's ever behind me. Uh, if you want to send a mail to the, uh, you click on this, it brings up an email, you know, an in-game letter thing. Um, it does count one communication points, and you can only do one every seven days. You cannot spam your your populace very well, which is a good thing. Now, getting over here, this is something that I usually check daily, is the assessment sheet. This lets you know when people have bought stuff. Um, if you scroll down, it lets you know how much you have up here. 
what people don't like look here yesterday we had 600 well that's because somebody went ahead and donated us some money for uh, making ramparts <coughs> of course it starts out with taxes you can see the last time we did taxes was in February um, right before I got to be mayor here and then you can see who bought stuff who you you know did stuff who you purchases um, you know just stuff like that uh, once a week at least we like to in the town ca uh, council thing we go ahead and post this report here which kind of gives you a weekly total um, because of my real life schedule I do it on uh, Thursday nights in my time um, just because it's easier for me uh, obviously you would want to do when it's easier for you but as long as somebody does it like you know weekly and then we have a good accountability some of our mayors in the past haven't done that stuff okay now if you go here now that I've taken care of that let's see I've taken there that never touch ranch keeping do not touch this I mean you can do this do not activate it it will drain you like nobody's business and the county takes care of our ranching don't touch this instead touch this now this is um, where you take care of the axes and stuff like that you will um, just how you know an, an axe has gone you know ball, dull or something as this will drop sometimes you'll you'll look in here at the right time where you can see the message um, but unless you can't understand you know it's basically got here and it's like oh crap when how come I'm less one and then you can put one here I usually do seven because I have seen a lot of times when six people will do it but this fluctuates you can have days where nobody like right now it doesn't look like anybody's doing this and then you have days where you know everything all of them are through if they use a town axe every axe that is uh, loaned gives us a piece of wood back a bushel of wood back so it's actually a really good that's why I like making sure I have enough axes so if someone wants to cut wood we can make a cut out of that um, but you want to keep your uh, obviously this is, this is a mayor thing for a wood town you want to make sure you have blacksmiths that you can count on to sharpen your stuff or have a lot more as backup because I have had eight, eight axes go dull in one week and well actually have those a couple broke which means you have to completely replace them now let's see um, all right most of the rest of this like you know when you do tributes but I, I donate money that's why and I have to donate some of my own because you won't do this because I prefer to do most of the time our tributes to the county cash so you can do a grant and I will do a separate thing here you can also give money to somebody um, you know document it well in the county the uh, town form uh, council chambers so I mean because there's sometimes there's reasons when you need to do this like when the game act there's one little weird thing in the game when you're doing a uh, fountain for the town that I found but um, and then this is doing grants this is how where you keep track of the grants that have been done recently and they're still out um, it's also where you create a grant um, actually you cannot do a recover grant or you shouldn't unless you're certain that uh, you know that's okay now she just needs to send her grant back you look here she has the money here occasionally you know you just have to remind them hey send it back uh, these people these two are set aside and I'd love to cancel the grant but this person here is still around and keeps telling me he will come back because he has what's called a travel grant and so um, if I uh, recovered that grant that would make bad things happen so we do not touch that anyhow um, the next thing you need to really kind of that's all you really need to know for this one here and like I said I'll do a separate one for doing grants the next thing you want to do make sure as mayor is you go over here and you get to the town of cavern and you want to kind of check and make sure your inventory is okay right now I need to add more corn that's because we've had a lot of lords with uh, three pointers so I'm going to be transferring that matter of fact I guess I'll, I'll show that right now and you can buy beer and stuff like that you can also set the prices um, and you get to decide who's the bartender um, and that. so um, well I guess before I, I end this thing I'll just go ahead and show you this quickly uh, transferring to 
Okay, so we want to transfer uh, to the tavern. Let's click. That's the tavern there. And I do this in threes because that's what the three point in here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click there, and we're going to transfer some more. I will probably in the a little bit raise the price back to what it was before the King's Grant came in. But, uh, you know, that's pretty much most of what you're going to look into, except for the fact you're going to get a lot of mail, people asking you, you know, questions, and that people tend to ask their mayor, mayors more than they will the mentors, just because the mayors can do a little bit more, uh, can find things and stuff like that. So um, that's the end of this little, well, 15, 16 minute uh, beginning thing of a mayor. I will do the grant thing here in a moment.